Hello, it's Average Row, and welcome back to To The Moon. As you guys can see, we are right where we left off, and um, got my notes here with me, and it's really just a lot of questions we still need to answer still. Um, but we are slowly but surely making our way back through Johnny's life, and uh, we are currently in the second oldest stage, as you can see at the top. Um, really, the main questions I'm focusing on right now is... Um, I think this Anya girl, whoever this Anya girl is, is once we figure out who she is and, and her relation to uh, River and Johnny, I think a lot of questions will be answered because uh, it'll kind of like snowball from there. You know what I mean? But uh, also keep in mind, we still don't know how River died or if even if that's even important, um, like the, the manner of her death. And uh, we also don't know how going to the moon will solve or will make Johnny's wish come true. So let's keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and keep it moving here. I believe we uh, just hopped back. I forget, I think a memory hop is what it's called. Um, let's just go ahead and keep moving around then. Don't remember a fence being there. Huh, look what we have here. The house isn't finished yet. Wait. I remember, because, you know, River said to build a house, right? I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Yeah, that, that's a bit confusing to me because, because River said that she wanted Johnny to build a house and watch over Anya. At least that's what my understanding was. But, you know, in the previous episode, we saw River in that house, in this house here that's currently being built. <coughs> Maybe they built this house and she was referring at that time to another house, a new house. But, um, yeah, still confused about that. Oh, we got Johnny. Is that River? Isabel? Nick? Okay, I think that might be Nicholas who we who we saw in a previous um, memory. Isabel. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I do remember the pickled olives. I heard about River. Will she be okay? So maybe this is around the time when River first started getting, like, really, really sick. Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. Yeah, but I guess it doesn't go that well. But the... Ah, that's right, that's right. The medical bills. You know, maybe she... I don't want to say killed herself, but maybe she chose to die instead to, so that Johnny could continue living without debt and achieve their dream that they wanted to like achieve together. You know what I mean? Can't afford finishing, or we can't afford to finish building this house as well. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's gonna be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crash. See, now who's Ted? It's another name. We have Nicholas, we have Isabel, and now Ted. I don't have Ted written down, so I don't think, I think that's a new name. What are you gonna do now? I'm, I'm gonna tell her that we can make it. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. See, I think I think she does end up doing that crazy thing he's referring to, i.e., you know, choosing to die instead. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. Right, right. So what? 
If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. Neurotypicals. So maybe... Maybe some people like Isabel and maybe River or something have some sort of neuro disease, you know, some sort of brain brain disease. Because that's I, that's what I think neurotypical would imply. It's it's um, it's implying that someone has you know the standard or typical quote unquote normal brain activity or brain function. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. God damn, that's so, that's so tough, dude. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. Music box. We've seen that before. That was in the creepy room, I think. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't, though. Okay, we are back in control. So maybe like, um, I remember one of those paintings that we saw in the present time in Johnny's room. One of them was of the lighthouse. One of them was of the platypus, um, which we still don't know the nature of. Another was definitely a river because river had, um, I think river has like orange hair or whatever. Um, and she was holding that rabbit. So that's pretty much how... I put two and two together. So, and then there was a fourth one of three people, but none of them looked like River. I think those three people might be Nick, Izzy, and Ted, or Nicholas, Isabel, and Ted. Maybe they're like childhood friends and they were like a group of five or something. But uh, I do get the impression that, you know, Izzy here is, is a good friend of River and Johnny at least. And um, I think she's married to Ted or is at least close to Ted and then is also friends with Nicholas or Nick. So I think I think we're kind of getting an idea of the connections between these characters that have been mentioned. But um, I think I'm going to explore now. Johnny went up this way, did he not? All we got to do is find these memories. Oh, okay. We got two right away. Okay, we can't even vault that anymore. Can't observe anything either. Okay, I think he's picking those um, those plants. We used a plant. Purple flowers. Yeah, I wrote purple flowers was a memento we used to hop back in time. And um, I think that's where he's getting the flowers from. Okay. Let's go back down this way. See some objects we can probably interact with. Music box. Can't interact with Izzy, obviously. Okay, so the pickled olives is going to be our next thing. Olives, okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, deposit these three that we have. Is this truck going to be something, maybe? Oh, okay, so we just walked through it. That gave us that one. We didn't have to click it. Where is this last one? Just go ahead and deposit that while we have it. Yeah, need one more. Oh, we can walk in. There we go. I didn't realize this was like an open door, but I, I, I can kind of see it now. Sometimes the 2D throws me off a little bit, but... We manage. Okay, there's nothing else to interact with, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, 
Okay, ideal is three. <laughs> Which just does not seem possible for me, obviously. See, I'm at a 40 overall. That means over the, the I think, four mementos, each of them have taken me an average of 10 moves. Um, which is not the best, but let's just go ahead and try to figure this out. Oh, I got it actually. I think I got it. And then we get a diagonal. All right, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> okay. Let's hold off first. Pickled olives, Johnny's favorite. Okay. Johnny's fave, got it. All right, let's hop again back into Johnny's brain. Oh, I think we got some friends here. Where is this? All right, Nicholas is talking. All right, we got Nick. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. Oh, they're so happy and excited. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment, but with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. All right, Nick and Isabel, okay. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago. Oh my goodness. That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Okay, so they got married at the lighthouse then. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Aw. Eh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Okay. So I'm the bad guy here, huh? It's with the creepy, creepy sound all of a sudden. Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the, I really don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this music. It was so peaceful just a moment ago. For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Okay, I need to pause here. So Nick wanted uh, Johnny to tell River something. Okay, what is that? And then it was news she had to take. And the incident. I don't think this is the first time we've heard the incident. Maybe it is, but that rings a bell for whatever reason. And that led to her making rabbits and whatnot. Very peculiar. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Ha, <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making these same rabbits day in and day out. Man, I'm getting chills because of this creepy sound effect. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, 
and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably I'm always right, John. Wow, okay, well. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Uh-oh. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, controlling Watts now. No mementos anywhere. We're still in ghost form, I think. But, um... Nick is a middle school friend. No idea what's up with these rabbits. All right, let's uh, let's move around here. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, uh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Oh god. You're so getting resetted. <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Poor bartender. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. <laughs> oh, loosen up. Alright. Got that memento. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? <laughs> Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. At least he's friendly. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. <laughs> oh, does he, does he hate olives? Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah. <laughs> You okay there? Yes, I'm uh, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. I'd be just like him, dude, for real. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Almost there, Neil. So I said Hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. <laughs> so much time has passed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Come on. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. Is this, uh... Wait, don't you dare... Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Okay. Is this uh, the song? Maybe? No? Doesn't look like it. I'm not, I'm not really sure what this is. Okay. Ideal. Four moves. Hmm. Okay. I did it. I did it in eight moves. Not bad. Not bad. 
Activate Memento. I can't tell what that says. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, back at the lighthouse. Oh, we got a new chapter in life. They have hair, or a uh, color in their hair. Maybe this is before they're married. Crikey nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Oh, that's cool. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... Oh, did he... Did she push her? Eva, what the f***? Wuss. Neil's kind of growing on me, I'll admit. All right, what's that, uh, is that like the deed or something? Why would they abandon her like this? Abandon who? I suppose she's just no longer needed. Her. Maybe Anya's the name of the lighthouse. And maybe that's stupid, but I'm just going off of what I know. Like, uh, Rivers referred to the lighthouse as a, as a her, I think. You know, and I know they're talking about the lighthouse because they're talking about it being no longer needed. Maybe lighthouses are out of fashion in this day and age. By ships, I mean, yeah, so... Yeah, her, the lighthouse. So, that means... If Anya is the lighthouse... River wanted Johnny to build the house and watch over the lighthouse and we know that that's the lighthouse is where they got married and johnny also suggested that there was more to it than just getting married there so maybe that's the next question we need to answer like what else does this lighthouse mean to them like how much more does it mean to them Maybe the, maybe the bed that we saw, no, cause like they were building it still. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still, maybe I'm mis misunderstanding something, but I just, I just thought that, I just think it's weird that River was saying build that, finish building the house, um, to watch over the lighthouse when she was in the house that was built already. Right. The house that, you know, everything's taking place around. Wasn't she in there and like the piano was there as well, right? The piano in the memory that uh, Johnny was playing for her and then in present day that Sarah and Tommy were playing? Like that's the same house, right? So I guess that's what's confused me. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's gonna be a squeeze. We'd be able to see her from the window. Yeah, see the lighthouse, right? In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. So, I okay. I'm almost 100% certain this is Anya. The lighthouse's name is Anya. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. Facts. 100% facts. The important thing is that over here they're happy. Man, I'm getting all sad. God. Getting all sad. God damn it. I want to know what this lighthouse, why this lighthouse means so much to them.
I'm assuming they're married at this point already. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? Yep, yep. I suppose so. Then, that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh. I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of your business anyway. She's not our client. Note on Anya. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Okay. Let's keep on walking. Oh. I guess that's them walking to where we saw them just just a moment ago. We're kind of just taking like a meandering way around just to cover a bit more ground in case I miss anything. We already, we already have three. We only need two more. Oh, just kidding. We're good now. Now we just need to find a memento. Ooh, is that a... Is that a rabbit? Why is this rabbit here? I'm gonna walk around just a bit. Just kidding. None of it's accessible. I figured as much. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and breeze through this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we saw they had gray hair or so, right? And the house was still being built. Remember when um, when Johnny was talking to Isabel, right? This room we're in right now looks very similar to the one that um, River was dying in. So maybe maybe I miss I, I confused myself, and maybe um, maybe the house we saw River bedridden in was not the same house maybe it was a different house that they previously lived in because this one right here looks just like that i think like just like the one that river was dying in um in the future from this point obviously but i think this is their previous house their previous home okay all right making progress timeline wise Can't observe anything in here. Yeah, yeah, we were in this house already. Yeah, okay, so this is a different house then. The house we saw in that one memory was a different house. So everything makes sense now. So Rivers, well, not everything, but everything we've been questioning up until this point. Um, River wanted Johnny to finish the house so that they could watch, watch over the lighthouse, right? So I guess now my focus is more on why is the lighthouse so important to them? You know what I mean? And why, why even bother calling it Anya? You know what I mean? And how, still, how does going to the moon, like why does he want to go to the moon? He said he doesn't even know why. If I remember correctly, he doesn't even know why he wants to go to the moon. And, and the thing is, he did achieve the dream then, right? He did achieve River's final wish of um, building the house and watching over Anya, right? And it looks like, you know, she was buried, River was buried right right by Anya. You know what I mean? So then what does going to the moon have to do with anything? <laughs> like, why does he want to, why are we even here? So I guess those are the two big questions. Why, why the moon and um, what does the lighthouse, why does the lighthouse mean so much to them? New boxes of plain paper? Uh oh, I think I know where this is going. I'm not following. Oh, no, I didn't mean to walk back up. Let's go ahead and go in this room. 
Oh, rabbits. Okay, so this is the this is the start. So this has been going on for a while then. Maybe we'll get our que or our questions answered about the rabbits. And there's the platypus again. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? This is just like, this is mirroring the scene where River was dying and she was talking to Johnny about the, the two colored rabbit that we've seen previously. A bit puffy. And, yep. Well, it's, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? She's not gonna answer, just because Johnny said that in the future, said that she never answered when he inquired about it. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. Yeah, same, for sure, for sure. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... She's what? She's what? <laughs> Do you? Perhaps, who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. God dang it. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Okay. Um, still don't, oh yeah, I still don't know what the incident is. That's a big one. Um, yeah, I still don't know why I'm making rabbits. Huh. Okay. What's this condition? I want to I know more about her condition. So maybe she has like a severe case of whatever this condition is. Cause like even the, even Rosaline and um, Watts here are saying that they might even be familiar with the condition, but just like, just like a bunch of characters up until this point, they've been saying like, yeah, they know of the condition, but never like this. So, but I think, I think our two char main characters here, well, our two playable characters here might have an idea of what's wrong with her. So I guess we'll just have to keep moving forward to get those questions answered. So this is the day she started it, huh? Okay. Didn't we already use the platypus as a memento? I think so. I guess there's nothing uh, stopping us from using it again, right? Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, man. That's never a good sign if you're losing hair or pulling it out, even. I need one more memento. Maybe we missed something. Yeah, the piano has to be one. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. <laughs> Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. Is that a reference to an actual Doctor Who episode? I don't watch Doctor Who's, but that'd be funny if it is. Okay. Let's try to do a little bit better on this one. Three moves. How is this possible in three moves? I guess that that's how. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, let's make another memory hop. And then a car now. Okay. I want to say this is like the maybe middle-aged stage in his life, maybe? Alright guys, I hate to do it, but I think I'm gonna call it there. Just like I've said several times in this Let's Play, we got a lot of questions answered, but many many more presented. So we now know that Anya is the lighthouse, and River's final wish was for Johnny to finish building the house that they were that they wanted desperately so they could watch over Anya for whatever reason, right? And Johnny ended up doing that. So we kind of got that history solved a little bit. Um, but there's still so many big questions, like what was the incident that Nicholas was referring to? Or was that Johnny? I'm not sure. But some sort of incident with River. Maybe maybe it caused her brain to get, you know, maybe the, her disease to progress or something. I don't know, but have no idea what that is. Then building off of that, why, why is she making rabbits? Like what's the point? And, and Johnny never even found out. So really only River knows. So I'm not sure how we're going to even answer that question. And uh, what else does the lighthouse, what else does Anya mean to them? More other than just, it was it's where they got married. You know what I mean? Um, there's one more question I'm missing here. But those were really the main ones. I mean, I'm also wondering how... How River died, but as as we as we continue, I'm not sure the nature of her death was, is as important as how she got there, and we don't know how she got there. You know, we don't know what this disease is um, that she had, this condition or whatever they call it. Um, but yeah, really, really, really interesting. I I am hooked, guys. I don't know about you. If you guys aren't hooked at this point, I'm not really sure what else can get you because uh, this mystery is really well presented and real and more importantly, even really well progressed. You know, the pacing is really, really good. We're not completely in the dark all the time. You know, we still have these facts that we're putting together, but there's still so much to discover. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.